Hey, it's Mike Cam here. I just wanted to talk about today's show, The Young Jerks. We're going to be talking to, uh, hopefully, Alina Taya. Uh, she's the mother-in-law of Ibrahim Toda Chef, who was killed by an FBI agent in Florida. Uh, related, possibly, some people say, FBI said after they shot him, um, possibly related to the Waltham 3 murder, uh, 3 guys that were involved in the local marijuana trade. Um, come on, you know, I've done a lot of research. We haven't really talked about this on the show too much, but uh, definitely the Toda Chef murder, a lot of questions that have been un unanswered. Uh, the big thing that's very troubling about all of this and in all these situations with government is the lack of transparency before, after, during, forever. We never really find out. Things aren't really confirmed. Uh, there's a lot of information that's released through the media that is proven to not be true. There's a lot of double talk. We're even going to talk about some of the double talk from the FBI about the triple murder. First, they say that Toda Chef and uh, the youngest Sarnath were involved with the murderers. And this week, with the, uh, the younger Sarnath trial, now they're saying they weren't involved in the murder because they don't want to release information about that in that trial. Um, so it's very troubling. And Hopefully we get to talk to Alina today because she has a lot of information. Their family has dug up a lot of information. They did the right thing. They've been vocal. Um, they have investigated it. And a lot of it is very troubling about this shooting and the lack of information that's been presented. Uh, the FBI didn't even want to reveal the name of the agent. Uh, it was found out by accident through local media. Um, it's very interesting, the whole thing. And, you know, also, we hope to get into some other cases that happened recently that people haven't been talking about. This big water town drug ring that was busted that's been being investigated for almost 20 years. The Canadian connection that they have um, in New England, all over the Northeast, it, you know, America. It's a huge drug ring uh, based in Watertown. One of the biggest leaders was here in Watertown. Uh, the feds got him. There was a murder. There was several murders, I'm sure, but there was definitely one. They got it on tape. You know, the, the, they had the tape. I heard it. I, listened, I mean, I saw the whole transcript. Um, what these guys were doing in Cambridge, in Watertown, in Boston, uh, the history of the drug rings and the police and the police cooperation and the fact that this drug ring is proven to work to hire and work with a Watertown police officer who was telling them who the informants were. And that leads us back to the triple murder because Eric had been busted. Eric Weissman, one of the people who'd been murdered in Waltham, he had been busted and lost his drugs. Did he turn police informant? Did he owe that group, that cartel, a lot of money? I have uh, sources that seem to indicate that, that that possibly could have been true. I mean, that's been talked about before they brought up the case that it was the bombers. So that's what we're going to talk about today. There's a lot of information out there. We have some links. We posted some of them. Um, there's a lot of corruption in the drug trade and the police departments, uh, the Boston police, for instance. Uh, another thing I've been looking into, finding a lot of information. Uh, they were selling drugs out of that drug evidence locker. Um, that, that, that's a proven fact. Um, the police chief, Ed Davis, who just left, who's been hired by one of the big media news networks in town, CBS, I believe it is, or maybe it's NBC, one of them. But, uh, he, the former police chief, was brought in to clean this up and to investigate it, and nothing happened. So, I mean, every case, Watertown, uh, Cambridge, uh, Boston, this, this web of corruption, and they just caught one of the biggest rings since Whitey Bulger. And the police were working with them. We've already proven it once, but it, again, it's all hush-hush. Even in the media, no one knows about this ring. Sammy, we'll say his name, his first name is, they call him Sammy. I mean, I don't even know if the ring has a name. We're gonna talk about it today. The Young Jerks. You wanna know more, listen to us every Saturday. Today we are going down the rabbit hole and we're going down the rabbit hole on factual things that are happening in our backyard. Young Jerks every Saturday, 6 p.m. Mike Can, I am uh, WEMF Radio, thank you.